Lynn the Ball Chef and tonight I'm going to show you folks exactly how to put together a homemade Mexican salsa. You can use this for tacos or any type of Mexican specialty dishes you might have in mind. It's quite easy, certainly beats the store jar bought variety. And when you see how easy it is to put together, you might just give this a try and kick up uh, uh, some of your Mexican recipes to the next notch. So let's get going and I'll show you exactly how I put it together. To create this uh, homemade uh, Mexican salsa, I'm going to start out with five uh, ripe tomatoes, three jalapeno peppers, three cloves of uh, peeled garlic, two hatch green chilies, and uh, two uh, peeled white onions. And what I'll do is I'm going to put these in the broiler you can see we now have our vegetables uh, grilled and what we're going to do is we're going to just take these tomatoes as you can see here, put these into the blender, start out with probably two of them to start out with, put the lid on this, this will give us some uh, got that first one or for the first two ground up we can go ahead put in two more repeat the process and then we go ahead and put in this last one as we're cooling off here we'll throw in the uh, three jalapenos give this a little spice and then of course last but not least We'll put in our garlic, we'll flip these green chilies over, pop these back into the uh, oven, place the lid back onto the blender, and we'll thoroughly mix it. our jalapenos into the, uh, into the brew here. Now come back and I'll show you the next step. Now we put a saucepan on the stove on high. We're going to pour our salsa mixture in there. We're going to cook this down. Uh, no salt at this point, but what we are going to do uh, is we're going to add about a half of a tablespoon of cumin. And that'll give it uh, a nice little flavor there. And uh, we'll just give this a little stir. And what we want to do is once this brick comes up to a boil, we're just going to cook this down until this reduces by about uh, a quarter. And uh, I'll show you the next step. Okay, we've now reduced our uh, salsa recipe here by a quarter. You're probably thinking, oh, this looks like spaghetti sauce or something. But believe me, you can see how this thing finishes off. It's nowhere near that. I've taken my hatch green chili, which I've roasted and peeled and chopped into small slices. I'm going to stir that in along with the onion. About a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro and a whole lime that I'll, I'll squeeze off into the salsa. Now what we'll do after we have this lime put into here is we're going to give this a uh, little stir here and see how much salt we're going to need to put in here. I don't want to make it too salty. So go great on tortilla chips or uh, like I said tacos, just about anything you might want to do. Alright, so there all of that is now stirred into our homemade salsa. Let's give this a taste here. It's got some kick to it. It's the way I like it. Definitely needs some salt. I'd say about a tablespoon will do it. Put that in there. Give that a stir around. Let's see how this tastes now. Bam! Right there where I want it. Now all we need to do is to preferably put this in the ice box for about six hours and let all these all flavors right, infuse. we pulled our Homemade salsa recipe. It's a contender for any of these uh, cook-offs, I think. It's all nice and chilled down. Been in the ice box for about six hours. 
nicely infused. Let's see how the heat on this is. Man, I mean, that is something you can't buy in a jar. It's Glenn the Ball Chef. Thanks for watching, and as always, bon appetit.